Hey guys, it's Dan, native Californian here, and in this video, I'm gonna take you guys with me to San Francisco, California, and give you guys some top tips and recommendations on things to do, and hopefully this video can help you plan for your next trip to San Francisco. Let's go. So the first place I recommend you guys visit is the Fisherman's Wharf. Um, in the Fisherman's Wharf, uh, there's like a bunch of fresh and delicious seafood, because San Francisco is a bay and all the fresh seafood comes in through here, so naturally, they should have some pretty good seafood. And here they have a bunch of stalls and markets where they have like fresh clam chowder, clams, oysters, etc. seafood in general. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to try some at this point because they were closed because we came in the morning, but yeah. Next place I recommend you guys go to is Pier 39. Um, it's, I don't know if it's a, the same thing as Fisherman's Wharf, but it's literally right next to it to the right. Just walk a few steps on this pier to the right. Um, and you guys get to this area called the Pier 39 and it's a really touristy area, but um, yeah, it's a really family friendly place and there's a bunch of like shops, souvenir stores, activities, games for kids to play. And if you guys walk to the left and up some stairs, there'll be some signs. You guys can get to this area where you guys can see a bunch of sea lions just hanging around, sleeping, lounging. And um, yeah, just really good views of the city. Uh, out to the distance, you guys can see the Golden Gate Bridge, and to the right, you can see Alcatraz Island. And if you pan to the left, you guys can see the skyline of San Francisco and all the buildings, and it just looks really nice. And also, there's a lot of restaurants here, and we tried this place called Fog Harbor, which is um, one of the ones that was recommended to me. I had really good seafood. Uh, it was my birthday, so I had to go all out um, because the food in San Francisco is pretty expensive, but my girlfriend paid for me, so thank you, Leia. And yeah, we had some gumbo, oysters, clam chowder. Um, just if you go with the seafood, you can't go wrong. Try all of that. And uh, we got really good views of the city as well because we sat near the window. And yeah, here's just me enjoying some aphrodisiac oysters. They're so good. And yeah, that leads me to the next thing, which is to go to the Embarcadero. We, it's very similar. It's like a dock, a port or whatever. Um, but we went at night because it's really scenic. There's like a bunch of people fishing on the pier in the dock. But uh, in the distance, you guys can see the Bay Bridge, which is lit up and looks really cool. And also you guys can see the city as well lit up. So go here if you guys want to. The next place I recommend you guys visit is Chinatown. It's probably my favorite um, district and place in San Francisco because there's so much culture here. Uh, it's the oldest Chinatown in the US, one of the oldest in the world. And you guys won't run out of things to see or do here. Um, there's just so much to this Chinatown. Uh, it's very robust and lively. Just walk around the streets and you see the sights. There's a lot of just art everywhere. Um, there's a lot of performances on the streets. And it's just really lively. And also there's a bunch of uh, murals on the walls um, in like random alleyways and everything. This one's my favorite one, uh, Bruce Lee. Definitely a major Chinese icon. And yeah, um, definitely also try all the dim sum. In Chinatown, it was the best I've tried in my life. Um, all the dim sum markets and stores and shops here are very authentic and it was just the best, so try that. Also, if you want another Chinese food recommendation, I recommend you guys try San Tung's. Um, a lot of my friends told me to go here. It's very busy, as you can tell from the way outside. There's even two of them because so many people want to go here. But the chicken wings here are a staple and you guys should definitely try that. But disclaimer, it's not in Chinatown. It's a little bit out of the way, but yeah. So next thing I recommend you guys do is just go to all the cultural districts in San Francisco and just explore the city. There's so much the city has to offer. Um, it's just like a melting pot of all the cultures. But for example, this one's the Cashville, the gay district. It's really lively and there's a bunch of fun clubs and bars to go to at night. So that's cool. And then we went to Little Italy, which is marked by these Italian flags on the light poles. So you know you're in Little Italy, but we ate there. A lot of good Italian food, of course. Still a bit pricey, but had to go all out, YOLO. But yeah, also in the Mission District, that's where they have some good Mexican food, and we had some tacos there as well, and it was just really delicious. But yeah, just take advantage of all this culture in one place and all this delicious food, and go to all the districts and try all the food and stuff yourself. After you explored the city, next thing I recommend you guys do, of course, go a little bit outside and explore the Golden Gate Bridge. Of course, you guys have to see this. But yeah, this is us driving towards the bridge and we're about to go on it. But um, definitely there's a lot of places that you guys can see it from. Um, one of those places was uh, Chrissy Fields, which we passed, which is that green pasture area. But this is my favorite place to see it, which is Baker Beach, because it's just a really crazy view of the bridge from the beach. And yeah, it was really convenient to get, get to. There was a parking lot right there and you just could enter and just 
take a bunch of pictures of the bridge. There's, there was also a bunch of like people taking their wedding photos here and rightfully so because it just looks really nice as you guys can see. And watch the sunset there, there or something, it was just really nice. So now we're crossing over the bridge again and going to our next destination which is a little bit outside of the city. Um, but it is the Muir Woods National Forest. Uh, if you guys can take a tour or rent a car to get here, I definitely recommend you guys do it. I was lucky enough to borrow my friend Tara's car, so thank you for letting me borrow that car, Tara. But yeah, in the beginning when you enter, it's like um, a straight path that's paved for you guys. Uh, it's kind of like a museum. There's a bunch of placards and like signs that tell you about each tree and about the forest. But if you guys are feeling a little bit adventurous, um, there are some paths that are not tame and they take you up the forest and here you get a more natural view of the forest and yeah it's just basically like uh, a hike but yeah you guys get to see some really cool trees up this hike and at the top of the hike you guys get some great views of the whole forest as a whole but it took us around two hours so plan accordingly and wear the right gear because it got pretty uncomfortable if you guys don't have the right gear but it was definitely worthwhile and recommend you guys do that if you guys have the time and now we're crossing the bridge again going to our next destination back into san francisco which is the next thing i recommend you guys do is go to the dolores park i really like this park um, it's an area a little bit outside the city and you guys get some great views of the skyline as well as just hang out and picnic grab a champagne bottle, um, drink some mimosas, and just take in the San Francisco culture. I feel like this park really uh, exhibits the laid back culture of San Francisco, uh, as well as there's a lot of tourists and locals in this park just enjoying themselves. So yeah, just next thing I recommend you guys do is to visit the Lombard Street. Uh, it's a really tourist area in San Francisco, but this is the road where a bunch of cars go down this winding street, and just it just looks really cool, but keep in mind this is actual real street, which is why there's a bunch of um, traffic stoppers because a bunch of tourists get in the way to try to take selfies which is why I didn't get really great footage so yeah don't be that guy but also just around this area there's just a bunch of hills um, just walk up there drive up there and just explore the city from the inside and just get lost the last place I recommend you guys go to which is an honorable mention is called the swing which is just this area really outside of the city and you guys can just get a really great view of the whole city in its entirety. A friend recommended me this place. It's kind of like a local place, but definitely you get some great views, so go here if you guys want to do that. Hey guys, those were things that I did and saw in San Francisco, and I hope this video helps you and you guys got some useful tips from it. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more from me. And if you guys have some tips and recommendations for me or any feedback, comment down below and let me know. Thanks.